Good morning tank buddies. Here we are in the Panzer 4H and I think today I'm going to be Wargaming's designated kicking post whipping boy. Whatever the polite term is for someone who basically gets the crap kicked out of them so that other people can feel better about themselves. I think this is going to be one of those games. We've got a Challenger, a Jagdpanther, Stone Room Mill. Uh, yeah. Elias. So this is going to be one of those tricky little games for a plucky medium tank. But I'm going to try and remain, you know, upbeat, confident even. This is a map that... What the fuck is this map? A Pilsen? I don't honestly think I've played this more than once. Uh, hmm. Well that looks very open. I like the red brick. Oops, sorry. Yeah, sight lines on this are a bit weird. Is it, okay, so you can get inside the warehouse. Oh, it's like a tank factory. Oh. All those. Okay, this is... I need to read up about this now. Because... How crazy open is this? It's like a warehouse that you can drive into and get shot at. Or try and drive into and almost get shot at. But I guess it actually provides you with a lot of shells from SPGs, which is something that people... I almost shot you. I almost thought you were that enemy tank. Size for, for the trouble. Are oh, you not looking at me? Wow, there's like this whole open. Wow, this map goes on forever. Shit, you are looking at me. <laughs> Change of plan. They killed our driver. Yeah. Could have been worse. I mean, I would expect a challenger shell to go right through me and out the other side, really. Okay, there's a lot of people there, and by a lot I mean four. This is a confusing map, I like it, it's got a real mix of stuff going on. You know? No. Well that seems to be where all their big boys are actually, that's a good point Mark, that's where their bigger tanks are. So, logically, this is like the only layer as well. Oh, okay, it's not just that. They've got big tanks for days. Uh, oh, that challenger still. I don't think he is. I think he's moved on. It's a risky move. This is a very risky move. Is it going to pay off? I know the tank store is probably lining up a shot. I want to get in. Let me inside. Where the giraffes are. Oh, we made it. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Okay, so, for reference, those doors, like, that was... Oh, that was a heart attack and an ambush. Well played, whoever that chap was. Is that the stomach? Who's that? I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but that was a great... <sighs> Took advantage. I thought, honestly, I honestly thought that was safe. That was a solid wall. I was going to be okay, and then... Oh. Well, good game, Stone Rebel. I think your time is almost nigh. I mean, our team is not doing too badly. We're ahead, sort of, eight to six. My corpse smoldering away. Let's watch someone else. Oh wait, I shouldn't watch anyone else. Because if I watch someone else, they die. Alright. M4A. M4A3, two. It's your turn to die. But again, we're, keep, we're keeping up. It's a lot like that. It's just a modified shit, like a modified sort of Sherman style. American tanks. I don't want to say American tanks all look the same, that sounds borderline racist, but... 
this guy's. Is this guy gonna live? He's got three kills. Alright, down to tier 6 tanks and two tier 7 SPGs. But. The ML doesn't really have. You know, armour. It's not like. Nice. Okay. Settle down with a cup of tea, lads, because we're in for the long haul. Mmm, that's good tea. I'm still just staggered by. I don't know why. You look at something and you go, "That's a, that's that's solid." I don't have to worry about. It. Ooh. I mean, Churchill is a tough nut to crack. He's got buckets of armor for us, especially against some tier sixes. But now it's Operation Hunt Down the FV04 and Panther. And the FV-304 is kind of, I don't want to say notorious, but the rate of fire on that thing is ridiculous. Once you've basically been tracked by it, you are probably dead, because it will just keep going shot after shot after shot. It doesn't matter if you miss, because the next shell's coming in in like three seconds time. Okay, that's probably a bit of an exaggeration as to how fast it fires, but... Whereas most SPGs go, you know, you have a... I guess what you'd call a big alpha, it's one, it's a lump of damage, you fire it, it takes a long time to reload. The FE-304 goes for a sort of, you know, quantity, has a quality all of its own approach. Oh, he's on the run. <laughs> oh my god, rhyming speed as well. Well, if you three or four knows, we know. Yay! Nice shots. 